let's talk about the power of button filters. As you can see, I have a list of recipes and I can, I'm showing all the recipes right now. But what if I wanna just see the, the desserts? So I click here, I have a list of all of my current categories that I have, and these are buttons inside of my list. And if I click dessert, it's going to update that I'm only viewing the desserts on here. And if I want to click that and change that, I can click here and show you all, or I could even show all the dinner options that I have. Let's show you how to do that just really quickly with buttons. Uh, buttons are awesome because you have three different states that you can put them in. You can have just the default state that is shown if none of the conditions are met in the bottom two, but then you can use uh, filters to show the button that you need to, to show. So for in, in my example, I've got a property in my logged in user collection that is for the find filter. So the search filter. And what I told this button to do is uh, this is a, just a list of all my categories that I have that can that you can filter by. And I told this first section and I labeled it to make it easier that if the logged in user search filter is not equal to the name of the current category, then I want it to show this particular style. The button's going to be outlined and you're not going to be able to see it. But if it is the, the one, if that same filter, if it is equal to that name, I want it to have a contained button that makes it look like that one is selected. And then uh, every time I click that, it updates that logged in user. And I have my list sorted by, you guessed it, category contains search filter. And so now I can have a quick, easy menu that looks great. Thank you.